Okay, let's take the derivative of this kind of complicated looking function and then evaluate that derivative at four. We'll reduce it down and get the very, very best possible exact answer. So before we get going on this, what we're gonna do is rewrite it instead of having a square root over the whole thing, let's rewrite it so we have a rational exponent. Instead of having a square root, we can raise the whole thing to the one half power and it means the same. Simply copying down everything that was underneath the radical on the inside there. Next, let's think about the chain rule. We have a function within another function. So this quadratic function is underneath the radical or all raised to the one half power if you like to visualize it that way. So what we're gonna do first is take the derivative of the outer function. So we're gonna use the power rule to do so. We're gonna bring the exponent down in front and we're gonna reduce the exponent by one. So one half minus one makes negative one half. And then we copy down everything that was on the inside. So that inner function remains the exact same. So three X squared plus four X plus seven, just copy that down. Then we wanna multiply by the derivative of the inner function for the chain rule. So assuming you understand the power rule, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative one term at a time. Derivative of three X squared is gonna be six X to the first power, bring the exponent down, multiply it by the number in front and reduce it by one. Derivative of the four X is just gonna be plus four because it's linear. And then the derivative of the seven, because it's a constant, is going to be zero. I'm going to leave off a plus zero for now. Next, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this uh, derivative. So to rewrite it, what I'm going to do is leave the two in the denominator from the one half in front. I'm going to move all of this down to the denominator and get rid of the negative exponent. So I'm going to make it a positive exponent and move it from numerator down to the denominator. This goes back to an exponent rule. And because we have a positive exponent for the six X plus four, it's raised to the first power, it can remain up in the numerator. We may want to rewrite this just one more step here for our derivative, we may wanna rewrite it. So instead of having a radical, or instead of having raised the one half power, we can put that back underneath a square root. As we saw from the very first step there, having something raised to the one half power or having a, a radical over the whole thing means the exact same thing. So that's a pretty clean way to write our derivative. But now let's evaluate this derivative at four. So to evaluate it, we simply need to replace each of the X's over here with fours and then simplify down. So that's gonna look like six times four plus four up in our numerator. All over, we have two comes along, the square root of three times four squared plus four times four plus seven. Some further reducing we can do is um, we can you know, <laughs> work our order of operations. So six times four is gonna be 24 plus four. We still have the two down here. And then the square root of three times 16 plus 16 plus seven. All right, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and say 24 plus four makes 28 in our numerator. And then we have our two in our denominator and the square root of, let me think, three times 16 plus 16 plus seven works out to be 71. Now the 28 and two, those are both multiples of two. So we're gonna reduce that part down a little bit. We can say that it's the same thing as 28 divided by two makes 14 over the square root of 71. And that's a pretty nice answer, but we may wanna rationalize our denominator. To do so, we would multiply numerator and denominator both by the square root of 71 in this case. And you get 14 times the square root of 71 in our numerator. In our denominator, when you have two of these radicals multiplied together, since they're both square roots, that works itself out just to be 71. And that's the very cleanest answer, exact answer we can get to in this case. So I hope this helps out. As you're working on these, I would definitely suggest rewrite that radical from the very beginning as raised to the one half power, and then apply the chain rule to help you out. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.